Is the monarchy on the brink of a shift that could reshape the Commonwealth as we know it? This question has become increasingly relevant as King Charles III's reign takes center stage. The excitement surrounding his anticipated visits to the Commonwealth realms from Canada to Australia is palpable. Yet, these plans seem to be fading into the background, overshadowed by the King's health concerns and the intricate ballet of international diplomacy. The concept of the new King Rollout was poised to be a grand spectacle, a vivid display of the monarchy in action, bridging the distance between the King and his realms across the seas. But the plot has thickened, health issues and strategic priorities cast long shadows over these noble intentions. The Commonwealth, that complex weave of nations bound by history and tradition, now finds itself questioning its relevance in the Crown's scheme of things. As the narrative takes a turn, the Commonwealth finds itself pondering its place in the priorities of the Crown. Is the focus on Europe in the post-Brexit era a symbolic choice? A question that lingers as we observe the unfolding narrative of King Charles III's reign. The once vibrant whispers of planned visits to Canada, Australia and other Commonwealth realms have now faded into a murmur of disappointment. The royal itinerary seems to be shifting towards Europe, a move that some interpret as an attempt to fortify alliances in the post-Brexit landscape. The cancellation of Commonwealth tours is more than just a change of plans. It's a statement, a reflection of the current state of affairs, and a hint at the delicate dance of international diplomacy. The realms are left wondering, pondering their place in the crown's priorities, while the king's health and strategic considerations cast a shadow over these noble intentions. These choices raise intriguing questions about the delicate balance of duty, health and political strategy that defines a monarch's role. What does the future hold for the historic association of the Commonwealth realms? A question that hovers in the air as we navigate the labyrinth of royal dynamics. The king's health, a concern that has cast a long shadow over the grandeur of monarchy, has undoubtedly altered the course of royal engagements. The implications of this are far-reaching, seeping into the intricate relationship between the monarchy and its realms. On the other side of the coin, we have Prince William, whose cautious stance on the Commonwealth's future suggests a potential re-evaluation of the royal family's role on the global stage. Coupled with his own domestic commitments, this could signal a shift in the monarchy's approach, stirring the pot of international relations. Then, there's the looming potential for realms to consider their departure from the monarchy, an idea that would have been unthinkable a few decades ago. The Commonwealth stands at a crossroads, contemplating its identity and cohesion in a world where the traditional ties that bind are under increasing scrutiny. This moment of transition for both the monarchy and the Commonwealth is underscored by the cancellation of royal tours. The absence of royal presence in these realms is not just about cancelled tours, but a symbol of changing times and shifting dynamics. As we watch this regal drama unfold, we can only speculate about what the future holds for this historic association. What does the absence of royal presence in these realms symbolize? This is a question that's been echoing through the corridors of the Commonwealth. As King Charles III's reign continues to unfold, the absence of royal visits to these realms is not merely a matter of cancelled tours. It's a symbol of changing times and shifting dynamics. The monarchy has always been a tangible connection between the king and his realms across the seas. But the current situation, marked by health concerns and strategic priorities, casts a shadow over these noble intentions. The Commonwealth, that intricate tapestry of nations linked by history and tradition, now finds itself pondering its place in the priorities of the Crown. The significance of royal visibility cannot be overstated. In a world where presence carries profound significance, the lack of a royal visit speaks volumes. It raises intriguing questions about the future of this historic association, the relationship between the monarchy and its realms, and the evolving dynamics of international relations and national identity. King Charles III's reign and its impact on the Commonwealth is a tale to be closely watched. It underscores a moment of transition, both for the monarchy and the Commonwealth. And as the Commonwealth stands at a crossroads, it waits, watching the horizon for signs of a royal sail. In an era where visibility carries profound significance, the Commonwealth waits, watching for signs of a royal sail.